Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to Balloon Market Buzz, where we are joined by the Chief Executive of BAPIA, the Balloon and Party Industry Alliance, Mr. John Bowler. John, thank you for coming in. It's a pleasure. Good to see you. And it's clearly Czech Shirt Thursday, isn't it? Well, if so, I'd known, I would have rung ahead and, <laughs> and found to find out what you were wearing today. Uh, well, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, obviously, just Good taste. Uh, I don't know, followers of fashion. I don't know, what do you call it? Fashion victims, that's the word I was looking for. Fashion victims, that's what we are. Anyway, John, thank you so much for coming in Pleasure. and doing this. Um, what we're doing here on Balloon Market Buzz is really talking to people about what, what's going on in the industry. How is the industry? Is our industry in a good state or not? And obviously, as the chief executive of BAPIA, you probably have quite a good overview of, of how the industry is doing. So how, how is it? For me, I think the industry is doing very well. I think we're seeing good growth, um, great designs, great initiatives, and there's good demand for what we're offering. Right. Um, I think balloons are becoming more and more popular still. They are very much on trend and very much in demand. And right through the spectrum from children's parties through all of the cel celebrations that, uh, that people have mm -hmm. on a regular basis, but then going on into the corporate world where you've got companies who are using balloons for their own celebrations, but also for product launches, for press days, and for all, all types of uh, promotional reasons. Um, and they're not just using a basic balloon. They are employing uh, professional balloon decorators to create designs that are different, interesting, yeah. and that, that will catch the eye and spark people's attention. And from their point of view, they're looking for things that will create media interest. Yeah. Um, so I think that goes to show that balloons have become more and more popular and, and far more acceptable as a marketing tool and a promotional tool um, and creative medium than they ever were. Um, I, th I think they are. I think balloons have come on so much with, with even bubble balloons that have been around a while now, yeah. but they're really you know, getting into it now. And of course, different size balloons, the whole organic um, theme as well. Yeah. It's amazing what you can do. And some people have built their businesses entirely on big things like that. Like we were talking about Chris Adamo, obviously yep. in Australia, yep. um, doing some amazing, huge work out there. And it's beautiful stuff. I mean, it it really is. is. It's, it's it is. interesting. Um, and it, you know, you suddenly get this whole explosion of organic. Mm. And if, if you if you tried to sell that five years ago, people would have just laughed at you and yeah. wouldn't have understood it. Yeah. But now it is an explosion and it's become so popular. Mm. But that and the creativity of the people that are in the industry just helps to drive that forward. Yeah. Um, and it's because, you know, with, with the, the organic thing, which is a great example at the moment, um, it's something that to a degree you can look at it and think, oh, it's just a matter of you know, different size, colour balloons put together. Looks easy, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> it does. But it really isn't. Uh, you know, I'm no designer, <clears throat> excuse me, but I know, and I've, I've seen Chris work, and he, he's very strategic in where he puts the balloons and how they're placed, mm. and that's why he's so good at it, and he, he creates something that really does look designed, um, yeah. and it's not just thrown together, and you can tell that. It's interesting that you actually say about the corporate work as well. We did. We don't do a lot of balloon mm. decorating ourselves, but if people ask, we, we, we do it. And yesterday we just did a very, it was an exhibition, somebody wanted mm -hmm. an aeropole, an arch, and it was just a, a swirly four-coloured arch. And the aeropole, first of all, made it very, very easy yeah. to do. And it, it was, people were prepared to pay the price. And we're finding, actually, that the price you can, you can charge now for corporate work, it's, it might have gone down a little bit, but mm -hmm. it seems to be, just, just from what we found, the price you can charge for even just a, a, an ordinary column Yep. It is, has definitely gone up. It, it's far more acceptable mm. um, because people understand now that they are not just balloons. Yeah. You know, people. The, the perception always was that a balloon it, it costs pennies. So why are you charging me a pound, two pound, whatever it be, for the balloon? It's not the balloon that you're charging for. Mm. It's the, the whole creative process, and it's the end result. Um, there was a somebody once said to me that, you know, you can buy a paintbrush and some paints and a a canvas for probably 10 pounds mm -hmm. but you know how much is a, a da vinci or how yeah. much is a, 
a Renoir. Yeah. You know, it, it's not about the cost of the materials. It's actually about the end result and the, the perception that people get at the end of it. That can be a bit of a challenge in our industry because I think a lot of people feel they can't charge the price. It's something we talk quite a lot about on BMTV mm. and I think it's just having the confidence to charge what something is worth when you take into consideration your time, your knowledge, yeah. your effort and charging for all of that as well, not just bag of balloons plus 20% or no. whatever. So and I, the word confidence mm. is, is the key fact from all of that from my point of view because I believe and I, I've seen it, and I, I did it myself. Mm. It's when you, when you build that confidence in yourself and, and you believe that what you're offering is worth what you're charging for it, then those words and, the, and that number comes out of your mouth so much easier. Yeah. Or you put it down on the paper so much easier because you know that actually what I'm doing is worth every penny of that. Mm. And if you do tend to look at it as those basic materials and you say, well, they cost me X, so... I could really only charge Y for that. That's not the way to do it. It's it's X, and you've got all the other stuff that you put into it, and it's the perceived value and the re the end result that your customer gets that makes it worth what you charge for it. Mm. And when when you say those words, give that price to the customer, and they say, yeah, okay. And eventually you get to a stage where you give them the price and they say yes so quickly that you think, oh, maybe I didn't charge enough. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So it, it, it really does show that the industry is being far more accepted and the you know the professionals within within the industry are also being more accepted in the prices they're offering and the work they're giving mm -hmm. are actually value for money yeah. and you know particularly with the larger companies and you see what they pay for some stuff and it's, it's not about just charging as much as you as you can for mm. it that's not not the deal the deal is that you charge what it's worth um, and you, you have to consider that your time and effort and your creativity and the skills mm that you've learned and everything you've built up all comes at a cost mm. and you have to recoup that cost mm. and you have to make a profit mm. otherwise there's no point I think it's interesting what you're saying there because I think once you have done it for a little while mm. it, it, it just gives you even more confidence if you've done it you're uncomfortable doing it to start with Completely. but then as the confidence builds and then you are sort of recognized for being good at what you do just by what people are willing to pay yeah. but ultimately it does boil down to how good you are because if people pay it and you do a terrible job, you're going to know about it very, very quickly. Absolutely. So it kind of forces you to develop your skills and, and keep on growing. Yeah. But and it's only by doing good work that you get the repeat work. Yeah. yeah. People come back to you, people recommend you, uh, and that's how your business grows. Mm. And that kind of marketing costs you nothing. Yeah. And it's the best kind of marketing you can get. That's fantastic. So overall, I think the business, is in, the, sorry, the, the industry is in a good state um, yeah. and moving forward. And I, I'm keen to see it continue to grow. Now, John, obviously being part of the industry, um, BAPIA is an association that represents the industry. So I'd like to give you the opportunity to tell everybody out there exactly what, what are the benefits of being a BAPIA member? Thank you. I appreciate that. It's, membership of BAPIA is about giving benefits to the members. Um, it's also that we work for the industry to try and improve the industry, protect it, continue to help it grow. Um, as a member... The key benefits are that the, when you join, your membership fee, £160 for the year, you will automatically get um, public and products liability insurance cover, employers liability insurance cover, and legal insurance cover. And that legal insurance cover is a full insurance policy so that you have access to a 24-7 helpline with solicitors on the end of the telephone mm -hmm. who will help you. They don't just recommend you to go and see a solicitor. You're actually Your policy covers your fees for all of that so they'll help you and that includes a tax and legal helpline mm. so all of that insurance is included as part of your membership and that's with Aviva so you've got one of the UK's largest insurers behind you. Um, we also we put together another insurance package which is for those retailers who have shops or business premises and there are three different levels of business insurance for them so it would protect the covers you for stock, equipment, uh, cash in the till, uh, loss of profits all of those kind of mm -hmm. uh, issues, so you can get you covered there. It's exclusive to BAPIA members, and it's discounted, and it's specific to the balloon and party industry because there's an automatic 30% uplift in your stock value between October and December, end of December for three months. Ah. So it covers the Halloween, Christmas, and New Year periods yep. where you will be increasing your stock levels. So that, again, is a very good policy, and that's with... 
It's actually with a, an organisation called SAGIC, which will mean nothing to anybody until I explain that that's Salvation Army General Insurance Company. They've been around for over 100 years. Uh, they're a very, very good insurer, very reliable. Um, well, we were, when, because I've been members of, of BAPIA, and we got a quote mm -hmm. from these guys for our insurance, our normal yeah. business insurance. And I can't remember exactly the numbers, but I think it saved us more than a thousand pounds. I remember you saying at the time. And, yes. and then, and unfortunately, we had to make a claim. Mm. So simple. The whole process, simple, easy. There was, there was, it was. I mean, it was sad that we had to make a claim, um, but it, it just, it wasn't difficult at all. And that's um, how it should be. And that, yeah, yeah, we were, we were so in, impressed. Yes. So, Good. Yeah. Good. So, what are the other benefits? We have uh, a newsletter. It's a hard copy newsletter that we send out. We don't say we do it on a, a specific date basis because we, we like to fill it with news and information mm -hmm. and the, we, we have to build that information up and that, those news features. But we, we publish three or four a year mm -hmm. and send those out to members and anybody else that wants a copy. So if anybody ever wants a copy, let us know and we'll send it out to you. Um, we have got some discounts arranged with wholesalers, including Balloon Market. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yes. we don't, yes. <laughs> um, so that's available to, to members. Um, we also have some uh, independent training sessions, um, particularly we like to try and put on something where there's somebody coming to the country who is not normally available to, in the UK. And we've done a couple of those in the past with Robbie Furman and uh, Colin Stewart. Mm -hmm. And we've got some others coming up in the, the near future, which we will announce as soon as we can. Oh, you can't tell us today. I can't tell you today, oh. unfortunately. But um, we'll make sure you're one of the first to know as soon as please it's do, all uh, put together. So that's coming together. Um, we Members, obviously, when they join, they uh, apply online. All their details go onto the database, and that's then available for the public to search if they're looking for mm -hmm. uh, somebody to do some work in their area. So, And w you get an automatic referral from that. We also work with a couple of national accounts who always come to us when they're looking to do store openings, uh, store relaunches and they look for the we give them the details of members who are closest to those stores to go yeah. and do the work and we always pass those on to members um, there's a closed facebook group which is very active uh, very friendly and it's a nice community I yeah have to say. it is it's very good and they're very helpful as well so you members can always sort of get on there ask questions ask advice or just post pictures of your own work yeah. Whatever you want, it's um, but again, it's it's a very positive group. Yeah, yeah. Um, we don't, you know, there's no sort of uh, aggravation on there, so it's always good to to have a look. No, it at is. It's a really yeah. really nice group. Yeah. So, so yeah, there, and we're, we're we're constantly building on on, yeah. on new new benefits yeah. um, and trying to give our members what we can. And as I say, we're our, what our main interest is as well is to just look after the industry and do what we can yeah. to help the industry yeah. um, and help it grow. Yeah. So. Fantastic. Yeah, that's what Fantastic. we're about. Well, John, thank you so much for that. And Always thank you for coming in. And thank you to Milo. <laughs> you cannot see Milo, but Milo is down here. Hello, Milo. Come up, come. Up, come. Up, come. We will, we will show you Milo. Up, come. Maybe not. There's Milo. How cute is Milo? Anyway, there you go, John. Thanks again. And thank you, Milo. Um, thank you very much for watching and see you again soon on Balloon Market Buzz on partyworldwide.net. Bye. <laughs>